we share With a dash of this and a pinch of that Mixed all up with care The best company and conversation Recipes and new creations We're cooking up something good here at home We are cooking up something good here at home Well, hello! at home family we're so glad you joined us today i want you to know it's going to be a really sweet program i tell you it's going to be so sweet you're not going to want to miss it i'll tell you more in a minute you know several uh several programs ago not every program but i've been asking you because we're celebrating our 20th anniversary of the at home program this whole year actually the day is july the 3rd that's when we launched in 1991 but i've been asking if you would be willing to just send a thank you offering to Cornerstone Television to let them know that you appreciate it if you've enjoyed the program. And it's just a one-time gift of $20. And so many of you have responded. You know what that does to my heart? That makes me feel like, wow, Arlene, all that, all that you've been through for 20 years, all that you've done for 20 years, all the people have come and gone, and yet God has kept us here just for you. And I, that makes my heart feel good. And I say thank you to you so very much because um, your comments and your giving means a lot. And so um, got, I've got all kind of cards. This one says, um, where there are friends, there is wealth. That's a big amen right there. That's for sure. And this lovely lady calls us angels, all the crew and everybody that works at CTV. And on this program, she calls them angels from heaven. And uh, we, th we thank you for that. We appreciate that. And um, another one is just a big old congratulations. And we're so thankful for these people. They've all included $20 with their uh, correspondence. These are just a couple of notes. Arlene, you asked us for $20 gift on your program yesterday to celebrate 20 years of At Home. What a blessing and a witness for Christ At Home has been all these many years. May you have 20 more years in his name. Please, here's my $20. Um, I see this one. She says, Dear Arlene, I have been watching you for 15 years and enjoyed it so much. Got a lot of good recipes, especially for the holidays. God bless you abundantly. and May you have many more years at home. That's from Peg. Thank you, for, thank you, Jesus, for healing Arlene and keeping her and her family healthy. She is needed on TV. Arlene, you're one of a kind. God be with you. From a cheese head from Wisconsin. Hey, we like that. <laughs> Thanks, Deanne, so much for that. And then, dear Arlene, I have been watching your program for years and have tried a lot of your recipes. I'm so happy to help out just a little bit. Here's my $20. Thank you, Mary. We appreciate that. Dear Arlene, bless you for being on CTV and your cooking show. I would be lost without it. I live alone. My parents have passed away, and I just feel so peaceful when I watch it. The food always looks so good. May God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit bless you and your husband, Paul, and all at CTV. Loving the Lord, Francis from Sewickley. Thank you so much. There are others. This is just a, a real quick sampling. So many of you, thank you, thank you. And if you'd like to do that, there's an address at the bottom of the screen. It's just a regular at-home uh, recipe address that you would send just say I would like to give $20 to celebrate. There's a big celebration coming. I'm going to tell you more about it. You're going to be want to watch the May issue of Enjoy, either e-zine or through the mail, because there's going to be a whole lot of information there about the celebration we have planned for July. So when we come back, I told you it's a sweet show. We're showing you how to make a big variety of icings, all kinds of icings, even filling for lady locks. Everything you want to know about icing today on At Home, and we're doing it on Cupcakes. We'll be right back in just a minute to get started, but first, here's today's hint. Here's today's at-home hint. When making frosting or icings, it is imperative that the butter or cream cheese used must be at room temperature unless the recipe calls for something else. Soft butter and cream cheese will blend better with powdered sugar and the other ingredients. If you've got a helpful hint, we want to hear from you. Send your hint to At Home Hints, Cornerstone Television, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Well, we're doing a lot of icings and oh, frostings yeah. today. And mm -hmm. Patty, you probably know more about this than anybody because <laughs> of all the frostings oh, you yeah. made in your lifetime for cookies and cakes and all the mm -hmm. stuff that she decorates. Uh, we're going to do a, a big variety, like six or seven different kinds. So get your pencil out if you don't want to send for them. Write them down because they're easy, okay? You're going to make a buttercream. Now, what right. do you use buttercream on? You can make a, do like a birthday cake, Plain put cakes. them on cupcakes. I Would mean, you whatever. you use that on icing cookies? Uh, maybe on thumbprints. 
You could you do want the that. fluffy icing. Yeah, fluffy. Because when there's butter in an icing, it fluffs it up. If you don't, if you use the same ingredients and you, put, you don't put like a, like a fat, right. it's a glaze. Right. And we're going to show you that. But go ahead, get our buttercream, because that has to go pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it? pretty okay. good. And I have the mixer back there. Okay. So. She's going to, because that has to cook, she's going to, or to mix. to mix a lot. She's going to put it together back there. What I'm doing is making a cream cheese. Now, this is good on carrot cake. You can do it on different kinds of cookies. But this takes eight ounces of cream cheese. And the important thing is you want to whip that for a while to get it nice and smooth and fluffy. And that's what we have here. This is going to be a very noisy show because we've got a lot of mixers going. But when it's done, yum, yum. We also are going to show you how you can put a lot of this stuff on cupcakes because that's real popular right now is the cupcakes. Okay, now that's pretty, that's pretty decent. I'm going to add just a tablespoon of milk because I want to thin down that cream cheese before I add the powdered sugar, okay? So you want to just let it get a little soft, a little thin. Now, if you were going to make it for a big cake, you'd double this recipe. This only makes about a cup, just enough to do some cupcakes or some cookies or whatever. But if you're doing a whole cake, you might double or triple this. Because you, you don't want to be like stingy with cream cheese icing, it's good. Okay, there we go. Now, you can use any flavor. You can use orange, you could use lemon. You can put any flavoring in here that you want. I'm gonna use some white, this is white, white vanilla. And if you have any kids in your church that are going to Haiti or Mexico on a missions trip, have them get you a bottle. It's about six bucks, maybe a little bit more. So I add about a teaspoon. And you could use vanilla, or orange, maple, almond, whatever. And then I just start mixing this, just like that. And then I start to add my powdered sugar. Again, you don't want this going too fast. So you're gonna do it slowly, so it will blend. Take your time, you're not in a big hurry. Do it a little bit at a time and just, you're gonna use the one whole pound box in this mixture. See how nice that's blending? Looks a little thin, that's all right, because you're gonna add the rest of that and it will thicken up. Okay, some more. How are we doing back there, Patty? Good. Is it coming along? Yeah, it's starting okay. to come along real nice. Good. Now you can increase your speed. Look how beautiful, that's a nice, really nice frosting coming together. You want to be sure you scrape down and get in the bottom with your mixer so that you don't have any surprises when you go to put it on your cake. You don't want a surprise, okay? Just like that. And I keep increasing the um, speed so that it keeps absorbing and it gets fluffy, nice and fluffy, okay? Just a little bit more here. And you can feel it grabbing, and you know you've got the right speed. That's grabbing, all right. Careful with this. You don't want it to get up on your beaters. I think you get the idea with this though. You incorporate the whole one pound box. This is good on cakes especially. This is great on a banana cake. Oh my goodness. Awesome on a banana cake. Okay. Patty, can you tell us what you've added back there? Pardon? Tell us what, <laughs> tell us what you added back there, what you I got added, in that buttercream. Um, butter. There was a um, cup and a half of shortening, half cup of butter. I put in um, two boxes of that powdered sugar, which is about eight cups. Okay. And then I just put in about six ounces of heavy cream. Heavy cream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, does that get nice and uh, Oh, yeah. Thick? Look, it's getting really nice and whippy. Good. Okay. So while she's finishing that, we're putting this aside. 
because I'm going to show you the difference between a buttercream and a glaze. This is a glaze. I'm going to put some almond flavor in my glaze because, again, this is the same thing. You can lemon, orange. You can do lemon and put slices of lemon on top of like a pound cake, a bundt cake. This is what you want to use if you're glazing a pretty cake. But the important thing is there's no butter goes in this. No fat of any kind goes in this. All it is is a liquid, a flavoring, and the sugar. And I'm going to put a bit there of almond because I love almond flavoring. And then I'm just going to add, let me see, get this one here, I think, some milk, a little at a time because the whatever um, liquid you put in there, that's going to control how thick or how thin it is. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Now, is that one done back there? Yes, that okay, one's that was done. done. Okay. Now, you're going to do a cool, cool whip whipped frosting. frosting. It has cool whip and it has um, pudding. pudding in it. Yeah. Yep. I've got the other ingredients. Yeah, it's really That's only nice three ingredients. That's a great one for a cake. Oh, yeah. I used to do something like this years ago for a fruit dip that was out of this world. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. loved it. And it's real simple to do. Okay, go ahead. Tell us what you're doing. I'll put a package of the pudding in it and a cup of milk and just mix this up. Is that instant pudding or Yes, cooked? it is. It's instant pudding. Okay. That cooked pudding, I'd have a mess. <laughs> and that's, uh, vanilla is good, but French vanilla is really, really. good in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see what this is? This is pretty thick. This is, we want something that's pourable that you can pour over um, whatever it is you want to ice or to glaze. So that's going to determine whether you make it really, really thick or if you make it thinner. Yeah, I like that on sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Well, you can pour over them and put them on a, a rack, and they'll just drip down. But then when they get air dry, they get hard, which is nice. Now, say you have like a little um, bread like this. Maybe you do breads. And you just want to put a glaze on it. You see how this runs? If you don't want it to run off of that bread, then you have to make it thicker. If you want it to stay like this, just on the top, you know, you can see this is still a little thin for that. You would add more powdered sugar because that's going to run off the edge. I personally like it when it runs down over the edge on a glaze. I like that a lot. Well, Patty's still making her cool whipped cool. frosting, and I've just made the glaze. We've got the buttercream. We've got cream cheese. A whole lot more when we come back right after this break. We'll be back in just a minute. We're doing frostings and icings and patty. I'm going to go ahead here. You show them there, and I'm going to tell them. Yeah. Well, that's our buttercream cream that we made. Yep. And I'm going to start the chocolate frosting now. Creamy chocolate frosting. Right. And what I'm doing over here, I have egg whites. This is an icing my mother made. And it's so time prickly, you have to be sure. Two egg whites beat up, a little bit of cream of tartar. In here, I have one cup of, of sugar and a third of a cup of water. I have um, a tablespoon of light corn syrup and just a blast of, of uh, salt. This has to come to the stage where you boil it slowly. Don't mix it with a spoon, but it has to come off of your spoon and drip in a long string. This is called fluffy boiled icing. You see that string? That's what we're looking for. What you want to do, and I'm going to pour this right in over my egg whites. You're going to see how this comes up to a shiny, Beautiful. Do it slowly. And what it's doing is cooking the egg whites. It's cooking the egg whites. What we're going to have is an awesome, awesome icing. My mother would make this every Saturday to go on a chocolate cake. Oh, my goodness. And you want to let this beat? Let it beat for a while because, as I said, it has to cook. I go in and scrape out that little bit extra there. And then you're going to turn it up and really let it go. First, we're going to add a little bit of, of our um, vanilla, just the nip. Look how shiny that's getting already. See how shiny that is? Oh. And the longer you beat it, the shinier it's going to get. That's a beauty. Boy, I, that really, really reminds me of my mom. When I see that, I can see her standing at the stove, boiling that icing, and then taking her good old Hamilton Beach mixer she had at the time, and listen to that thing crank, and you know, wow, we're going to have some really, really good icing. 
Now, if this doesn't seem to thicken up for you, you can add a couple of tablespoons of powdered sugar, but you only want to do them one tablespoon at a time. Okay, look, there it is. Uh, haha. Let me show you the consistency. Now, this is hot. Keep the kids away, but look at that icing. That's fluffy boiled icing. Yum! Yum! Look at that. Uh, okay, I'm so excited. We're going to let that continue to go. Let me show you over here. You know, timing is of the essence with that. That's why I hurried along. This is what our buttercream that we made in the last segment. Is that beautiful? That's for your all-purpose. When you bake a cake and the kids are there. This is Paul's favorite, by the way. He loves this stuff. Go figure. All these fancy things, he likes that. Oh, well. And I have the chocolate one done. Is it done? Oh, yeah. Look at it. Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. And that was real simple. All you'd use was... Um, couple tablespoons of butter, okay. creamed it real well, and then you threw in your cocoa and powdered sugar together, and mixed it real it. well, and added some evaporated milk to a slew of creamy, a little vanilla. It's done. Okay. And it's done. All right, let's talk about, this is one of the ones that everybody likes. It's called Lady Locks Cream. And if you've ever had a good Lady Lock, you know that the cream is the most important thing about it. Right. So tell us what you you're doing. Off, you make your base, and to make this base, what you do is you cook milk, a cup of milk, and about four tablespoons of flour. Okay, let's put that on the heat over here. And you cook and stir. There it goes. Cook and stir till it cook thickens. Cook and stir till it gets thick. Okay, which All is right. a couple of minutes. Yeah, now you want to do this minutes. ahead of time because this has to thicken and then completely cool. Not in the refrigerator, at room temperature. Right. You do it in the refrigerator, it gets funny and curdly. Something, we don't like that. Right, it gets too cold. And when you're cooling it, um, if it's gonna be like two hours until you use it, you want to put a plastic wrap on the top of it so it doesn't get that skin You get that film on it, on it yeah. right. Like pudding so, would get, like yeah. a skunt, yeah. And what you want to do is use a whisk instead of this because you see that? That's potential lumps. And if you're putting that through a squeegee to get into those lady locks, every one of them lumps is going to fight you. That's the worst feeling in the world. I hate that. So we want to use a whisk. Got one right there in front. That you little, want the yeah, little one? Yeah, let's go All with right. that one. All right, now what are you doing over there? All right, well, this is Show the base. Them. That's what it looks That's like. That's what it looks like. It gets thick almost like a pudding. Right. And then you let it cool, and then you use um, a half a cup of butter at room temperature, and you use a half a cup of shortening. Yep. And then you use a cup of sugar, regular That's sugar. Granulated, right. Right. Okay. And then I need vanilla. Some vanilla? We're passing the Just, bottle yeah, around passing today. Passing the bottle around. And just a little bit, I always use a lid. Okay. And put like a teaspoon or so of vanilla. And then all you do is mix and mix and mix and mix. And it has to beat a long time. It yes, does. It okay, does. go ahead and do that. You know what? We've got stuff everywhere. And we come back, we're going to show you what all this looks like. We're going to decorate cakes, cupcakes, everything else. But we want you to see it. But I want you to have the recipes because it's really important. If you, if you learn all of these, you'll have a complete a library of all the kind of, of icings and frostings that you're going to need. It's great. That's all you need. So, we go. okay, we're going to, Patty's starting hers. I'm checking out mine. And we'll be back in just a minute. But here's how you can get all the recipes from today. We'll be back in just a minute. Well, just feast your eyes on what I'm going to call our cupcake extravaganza. Because we have, I mean, this is a party. This is a dessert buffet, and you could have a great time. We thought this would be the best way to show you all the different varieties of frostings, icings, and fillings. Let's start right here. This is yellow cake, and we put the Lady Lock cream filling inside the cupcake, and then we, we put um, the whipped, cold whipped frosting on some. Some are with the frosting, this fluffy boiled frosting, anything real shiny. These are filled also, chocolate cupcake with, with Lady Lock filling with that fluffy boiled icing, oh my goodness. These here, this is a variety. Some of these are with, well, they all have this wonderful fluffy. And then some of them back here, this has that cool whipped. I'm telling you, if you've never tried that, you could probably use different kinds of uh, pudding in that recipe instead of just vanilla. You could probably use chocolate, lemon, coconut for different flavors of icing. That works great. Down in front, there's our creamy yellow cake and chocolate cake with our creamy chocolate frosting. And we just put that, Patty put that in a piping bag and we just piped that, so simple, so easy, very delicious. Here we have our buttercream. These are all buttercream. 
that's like what we call bakery cream. Easy to do. This is the yellow one. We put a little pecan on the top, a few little chocolate chips on that. There you have it. Then we did our pound cakes. This is the glaze. Then we took some of the other icings and just put them on. This is great. This we split them and filled them with that wonderful cool whipped frosting. <laughs> put it together. You have any kind of dessert you're looking for, there's a variety here and you would like it. You could even use these and put some fresh berries with them. It would be great. The only thing you need is a big pitcher of cold milk and we got that too. Right here. Right here and here's our mugs. I'm telling you, it's all you need. This is a wonderful idea for a birthday party. How about graduation? Any kind of an event. And I think we made all the different kinds today that you might ever need to use in your whole life. So be sure to get the recipes and also be sure to join us the next time because it won't be the same without you here at home. We'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.